I'm real and I'm really excited um, yeah to show you guys what I've made um, this is a present I made for my uh, sister because she asked me to make her something beautiful um, yeah I'm pretty excited and I really want to know what you guys think of this um, what I did was use some canvas and then I just put uh, like this la the layer here I just put some uh, actually napkins on it I will um, show you what I did I just used let's see if this is picking up yeah this uh, design I just used the first layer of this napkin and some gesso and put it all over the canvas uh, and then I also put some gesso on top of it and I created some texture with that I don't know yeah maybe you can see it a little bit here if it's picking up um, I'm sorry the lighting is pretty bad <laughs> I have to do something about that but yeah and um, the paper I used is from the Prima Fairy Bell collection uh, so the paper here and the paper here the pink peach color are both from the Prima uh, Fairy Bell collection. I cut out the images you see here and here with the fairy. Um, and what I did with this part is use some, um, yeah, like sticky foam. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's basically this. Like, I just put that on the this part to create a 3D effect. I don't know if it's picking up correctly, like, not. You don't really see it on the camera, but this part is, uh, yeah, a 3D effect. So it's on top of this part. And what I did was use some doilies here and over there. I put some blue color on it, and then I used some stickles to give it a bling effect. And the color I used is, let's see if that's going to pick up crystal um, yeah I also used the crystal color on here this is just a die cut I don't remember from which brand I'm sorry and this was actually a metallic color and I painted it white um, yeah and then um, I also used some um, stickles on the wings and the flower of the fairy that was in the color let's see oh icicle i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly so sorry guys <laughs> and i used some bling here and some bling there i put some little blue flowers because yeah i thought something was missing it was a little bit too white all around here and then i die cut this um, butterfly also put some stickles in the color icicle and some glossy accents um, let's see and all these flowers are from my stack I think this one is from Prima um, the other ones I don't remember from which brand they are I used a charm here from a angel used a uh, charm here here I think from Tim Holtz and then just a button in the shape of a flower and a bling here this is actually pretty funny because it's it's like yeah so you can just put it on there and take it off because uh, it's magnetic that was the word I was searching for I'm sorry also this part is also the same is also magnetic um, ah, oh yeah, that's interesting to tell. This photo frame was actually, um, uh, not gold, sorry, silver. I didn't like the look of it. I thought the whole thing was missing a little more green, so I painted it green, but you can still see the silver coming through, or shining through, actually. And I really like the finished look of this. I didn't expect to, it to be that beautiful and yeah I forgot one thing the edges of this 
part of the paper I distressed it with um, the color um, vintage photo yeah and then the last thing I did was the edges I put some lace on there yeah and that's that and yeah maybe show it a little bit better it's this lace I just got this from a local store and I really think it's beautiful well that is it guys um yeah I'm really curious what you th what you guys think of it uh, so please leave your comments and if you got any tips for me uh, how I could improve my technique please let me know okay bye